after this epic intro we can start talking about Sakuang Skyway chest run. Welcome back guys. Most common drops, Koi Scepters, Cockatrice Staves, Celestial Scepters, Staves, Longbows and a lot more. Here take a look at my best drops. I got some nice cellar weapons, some random skins. Uh, nothing in extreme value but still a few actors for sure. Good news, anyone can do this chest run. Luckily this is quite a beginner friendly thing. Uh, some spell prevention is useful though since the Vermins and especially their boss named Shredder Sharptongue is deadly with his elite skill. The regular Vermins are not a big deal, you are safe as long as you keep moving. They can only knock you down once their lead attack jack strike is completed. However, the boss is a different story, if your shadow form is down and you aggro him, your chances are close to zero to survive. Regarding the build, you need 5 skills, Death Charge and Heart of Shadow are key, these two skills will help with the Vermin's body block and this will happen a lot, since they are in big numbers and you see their nest is small and narrow. Then you need some spell prevention like Shadow Form, Self Defense in the form of Shroud of Distress and finally I am unstoppable to prevent knockdowns. If you want you can bring Dwarven Stability with Dash or Micromanage Make Haste with the Paragon Hero, just make sure you have plenty of speed boost. Now let's see a full run, first you got to be in Senji's corner, this is where we start, then grab some mid shield heroes, healers, paragons, warriors are decent, and do the reason trick so after resigning you won't have to walk all the way back from the other side of the outpost. If you feel like being lazy that's ok too, you can stay with the heroes in the first part of the run, and the first chest is usually in the stairs after stairs section. Sometimes you can get one extra chest at the Jade Brotherhood Knights, stop for a sec at the bridge, check their place and if there is no chest, go left. This is where I like to activate Shroud of Distress. The next part of the run requires some basic knowledge with shadow stepping and smart dodging skills, so use a Death Charge on the first group inside the dark area and keep moving. The boss is here, so we got to use Shadow Form and he moves faster than regular Vermins. And don't be surprised if he's after you till the end. If your heroes made this far, Sharpton might get distracted by them. This happened to me now, but for my luck, I got body blocked. No prob, at least I can show you how to get out of this group of fools. Uh, you see I tried to simply move out of it, uh, but I couldn't, so I used Heart of Shadow instead. Also don't forget to use I'm Unstoppable when SF is down and open the last chest. Resign after and you can do it again. Usually there is one or two chests here, sometimes you will run into three and very very rarely you may get four chests or no chest at all. So I did my usual 1k chests, uh, these are the stats, stop the vid here if you want to check some of the data and this is how to chest run in Sakuang Skyway. I hope you find the vid useful, if you do please consider subscribing or give the vid a thumbs up and as always thanks for watching and good luck with the drops.